Are you tired of slapping the inside of your arm with your bowstring when you shoot traditional archery? Are you over the sting that comes, not just to your pride, but to your arm as well? I promise you, if you implement these three tips, you will eliminate the slapping of the arm. Now, you might think this is just another ad for an arm guard, but I'm here to tell you that tip number one is eliminate the arm guard. I'm Stick Bowfit Mama, and I'm gonna go over three basic tips, if implemented properly, that will eliminate the stinging of the arm and help your overall form as an archer. Let's dive in. Now, the first thing, as I mentioned, is eliminating the arm guard. Some of you might not even know what an arm guard is, or some of you might use an arm guard just because you think it's a tool that normal archers wear. What it is, is it's typically a leather arm piece or sometimes they're plastic for the youth. And what it will do is it'll go right here over your forearm. What I'm referring to by the sting is when you pull back your bow and you release, what will happen is the string will come and it will ride on the inside of your forearm, leaving a sting. After three or four times it's hitting in the same repetitive spot, it really starts to burn especially if you're shooting a high poundage bow. So the reason I say eliminate the arm guard is I'm a firm believer in tough love. That pain that comes with it is something that triggers in your mind to not do it over and over, right? You start to think, okay, I'm afraid of this is gonna hurt. So your body's gonna already subconsciously start trying to fix it. Now that's where two and three are really important that you're mindful of those tips and implement those correctly. The reason that I also don't like the arm guard is I actually think it gets in the way and causes more arm slapping than it does preventing. Why do I say that? Well, a lot of times people will say they'll wear it to eliminate the bagginess of their clothing. But here's the thing, if your bow is sliding against hard leather versus sliding against a t-shirt, what do you think is gonna affect the flight of your arrow more? Leather or cotton? When I say affects the flight of your arrow, what's happening, you have to think, when you're holding your bow and you pull it back, okay? I don't have a bow, an arrow knock, so I'm not gonna pull it back. What happens is, maybe if I do it at this angle, you'll see a little bit better. If my arm is here and it's causing this to hit here, it's gonna take your arrow and point it outward. So it's what we call kicking right. I'm a right-handed shooter. This is my left arm on my bow hand. And so my arrows would kick off to the right. It could, depending on how you hold your bow, kick either way. But I'm gonna show you what the right way to hold it is so that your arm's not in that position. Last thing on arm guns that I'm gonna throw in there is a lot of people will start their children with them just trying to help them not get a bad taste in their mouth from the pain. But I think it's more important to be teaching our children the proper way to hold a bow than to create bad habits. I say that because I created bad habits that took me almost 10 years to correct. It's taken the last two years of being mindful of this to finally get out of the habit of having the stinging arm. <laughs> All right, so what is tip number two, you might ask? Two. Tip number two is going to be how you hold your bow on the riser. Now, a lot of you might think, well, this is, we're talking about our arm. What does our hand have to do with it? Everything. So, a lot of people will hold their riser with all of their hands and they'll clench it as tight as they can. And what this does is we've talked about hand shock and that's referring to this hand and the vibration that passes through the limbs into your hand. Now, people will use different silencers to help with the vibrations, but as you hold it super tight, you're also experiencing more of that hand shock in it. Now, what will also happen is because of all the force and you're holding it tight, when you release all that tension from pulling, your hand will often twist um, here in your wrist and that will cause your arrows to kick. Well, look at what it's doing to my string. It's coming against my forearm. So. Why is this important? Well, the thing is, is you only need really your thumb. This is all you need to hold your bow. And especially as we start to push outward. Now, what do I mean push outward? 
you're going to place your palm of your hand, this part right here, nice in your riser. You should have like a kind of a little grip here. You're gonna push it right there. It's similar to when you shoot a gun, if you're familiar with that. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to push outward with your hand as you're pulling back, okay? So, watch my fingers. This whole time, I don't even need my fingers on the riser. I'm not holding it super tight, and what that prevents is also from me controlling my bow arm more than I need to. I can gr gently and gracefully move my bow arm up and down or side to side by my shoulders, not having so much in my wrist. When you do that, that is going to eliminate the string from coming backwards and smacking your arm, all right? So we've talked about losing the arm guard, getting your mental mindset out of, oh, well, it won't hurt because I have this arm guard on. The second thing is our grip, our riser, how we hold our bow. Now, the third thing is going to be keeping your bow arm bent. Now, a lot of people will think, well, I need to push as hard as I can, so I have to straighten my arm. Well, the truth is you don't have to straighten your arm all the way. You're supposed to keep a slight bend in your bow arm. Doing so keeps your forearm further away from the riser and the string. Let me show you. When you are pushing, watch my elbow. Let's see if I can get a good angle. This is probably gonna be it right here. Watch if you can see my elbow stays slightly bent the whole time. My arm does not completely straighten out because I'm pushing so hard. My hand is still bent at all times. It's hard to see at this angle, I apologize. But my elbow stays bent the whole time, leaving a good distance between my riser and my forearm. That is gonna be the most crucial thing that you do. I hope you guys found something useful out of this video and I would love the feedback of how it goes implementing these tips and eliminating the sting of the arm. Happy shooting.